Where did that come from? That's exactly what I'm thinking with this signing. Uh, Blues have signed Jeremy Bella, if that's how you pronounce his name. Who knows? We were heavily linked with him in the summer, but we have finally got our man subject to international clearance. So he, he probably will end up going back. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to be taking a look at this new signing, like what he might be able to bring to Blues, and whether he's going to help us with our lack of goal scorers in the club at the minute. But before we get into it, just want to say a quick shout out to our sponsors over at OneFootball. Just want to say a big shout out to our friends over at OneFootball. It's the ultimate platform for football fans across the world with everything you need from scores, fixtures, player stats, articles and social posts all in one place. If you want to check it out, you can download it using the first link in the description. So it was announced today that Jeremy Bella has signed on a three year deal with a one year option. He's at a good age. Um, he looks quite a tricky player but um, to me I don't know whether he's proven um, he's going to be one of these that we're going to have to wait and see with him. I've had a look at some highlights on YouTube. He certainly knows where the back of the net is. He looks like a good dribbler. He, he just you know he sort of goes for it head on. But yeah uh, last season he got 11 goals and 2 assists in the Spanish second division which is not too shabby. Most of his match time was played on the left wing but he can play on the right okay you know occasionally played on the right. He can also play as a second striker but I feel like naturally he's a left winger. Um, I know we're all looking for this this striker to, to partner Duke. Maybe he can play in that position but at the same time also, we don't want to like force a, you know, a square peg into a round hole in that sense. It could be a little bit of a short-term option in that mould, the way Morapti's doing it as well. But I, I honestly think Morapti's playing really well at the minute, so I wouldn't move him. But it's good to have him as the option. It's good to have someone off the bench like that. He has got pace um, and he likes to shoot. So we'll have to see. We'll have to see how he settles in. So Richard Wilford put a tweet out this morning saying that Blues target Jeremy Bella settled his contract dispute with Albacete and is now a free agent. So basically, I don't know what it was. There was some form of dispute, but it meant that we couldn't sign him in the summer or else we probably would have. So now that that's done, he can become a Blues player. He then goes on to say, I understand confirmation of his moves to St Andrews is pretty imminent, which it now has been confirmed by the club. Um, but it's still, um, as I say, subject to international clearance. But they must be pretty confident if they've actually put it out there. Just as I'm editing this, um, Blues have announced that Jeremy Bella has received international clearance this afternoon and is eligible to play for Saturday's game against Fulham. We know his fitness is quite good, so I might see him on the bench. Pepper's also gone on to mention uh, Jeremy's goal scoring record and how cool he is in the box. But one of the more interesting points that Tom Ross said was that Pep was looking at playing a 4 3 3. Obviously, we're going to have to, if, we, if we're putting Jeremy Bella into this team, we're going to have to sacrifice another. Who do we play? Where does Vialba sit in a 4 3 3? Um, how is it going to work? But all I can say is that it gives us many more options and that can only be a good thing. Let me know what your lineup will be for Saturday and the ongoing games um, with Jeremy Bella involved, perhaps. But anyway, let's carry on with the video. He could be a good option, you know. There's two months to go until the January transfer window opens. We might not get a player till halfway through that. It's a good option to have. It's very low risk. It's a free agent. He does look good. He looks like he's got potential. And that's the sort of player we need to go after. But al does make a good point in his article. Yes, we may have found out that we signed him before it was announced. Or whatever. Um, but that's pretty much down to Lewis Johnny uh, sharing that on his story. However, the club actually signed him and there were loads of clubs sniffing around for him in the summer, including the likes of Nottingham Forest, which leads me to believe that, yeah, maybe maybe he is a talent. He had a, he had a fair few clubs after him. And it's a good thing. And it and it can mean that, yeah, we can we can do some good business. We can, we can deal with transfers properly. And, you know, if, if there's one thing, if there's one sort of positive to come from, from Blues this summer, and there's always... It's always hard to find positives sometimes, but we have done quite well on, on on the transfer market, on the transfer front. We may have spent six million on Ivan Sunic, but he's worth every single penny and more. Um, and the rest of them, the rest of the signings we had, pretty pretty good value. Look at Crowley. Look at Vialba. Like we we are we seem to have like sorted out the transfer policy. Whereas before, they were spending stupid amounts of money, being linked with stupid players. Yes. Say what you like about the whole Gale thing. Don't know how, how much we were going to spend on him or whatever. But we still didn't allow them to mug us off. Um, we got a good amount of money for Vassell. Yes, it left us a bit short up front. But I feel like that's probably a good deal in the end. In, in terms of the amount of money we got for him. 
And I'm I'm actually quite positive going into the transfer window that we will get that striker to link up with Duke, that pacey striker, whether it is Naki Wells that we were linked with before, because that's another that's another story that's come out as well. Naki Wells, a £6 million burning one for him, what, six months left on his contract, doesn't seem likely, but maybe half of that in the January transfer market, would they say no? You know what I mean? So we'll, we'll have to see. But next, let's have a look at Blues Breakdown's assessment on Jeremy Bella when we were linked with him in July. So they say Bella played the majority of last season on the left wing. Bella's 12 goals were instrumental in Albacete finishing fourth in the Spanish second tier. He doubled his expected goals tally of six and hit the target with almost every other shot. His direct running style resulted in an impressive 6.57 dribbles per 90 minutes. I love these little things. I want to see more of these in January by Blues Breakdown. They really are a good Twitter account. So make sure you go and follow him right now. We are missing pace up front. We've got uh, Jefferson Montero who could be coming back soon, but he just doesn't seem like a reliable player, to be honest. Um, unfortunately, he's just one of them that seems to always be on the injury table. I think Bella, you know, he's got quick feet, he's tricky, he's pacey. I think in this team, he could give us uh, what we've been missing in a way. Will he be the striker that needs to pair with Duke? No. Um, that's going to come in January, I think. We're still going to be maybe struggling a little bit. But it's another player to add to the depth of this squad. And after after January, if we're, if we're quite clever with our money as well, we could have a really good squad. Maybe not in time for this season, but going into the next season as well. We put we put faith in Pep. We, You know, it's we're doing all right, aren't we? Really. You just don't know. Like, a few more shrewd additions. And this team could be playing unreal football. I think I'm quite impressed with how quickly we've been able to adapt to the change in style of play. Um, we've got a lot of points on the board and I'm, I'm, I'm really impressed so I'm quite excited for the second half of the season. I'm not getting my hopes up about anything but if we could have a nice solid mid-table finish and not worry about relegation for once that would be good and we can push on next season. Um, so hopefully this is the first of a few decent little signings coming up um, obviously, we'll have to wait till January for the rest of them. But let me know what you think of the Jeremy Bella signing down below. What do you think he's going to be like? What are you expecting from him? Um, and I know a lot of you looked at his FIFA card as well. 93 pace. So, yeah. Let me know if you're going to get him in the squad. Shall I get him in the career mode? Maybe I will. Um, I might have signed him in January too, actually. But that'll be it from me today anyway. Like the video if you did enjoy. Uh, let me know your thoughts down in the comments and subscribe if you're new. Hit that notification bell and I'll catch you in the next one. Keep right on.